Tech now works. Engineering the better way. Hello friends, in this video, I will explain you how to calculate pressure drop in orifice plate. I have attached a Excel sheet of this calculation in the description. For your practice, before we start, I request you to subscribe this channel and share this video. Restricted orifice works on Bernoulli's principle. As per Bernoulli's equation, this equation can be derived. Here you can see that, the mass flow rate is directly proportional to square root of the pressure differential across the orifice. So, by measuring the differential pressure, we can calculate the flow in a pipe. This is why, orifice type flow meters are widely used to measure the flow. The restricted orifice also used to control the flow. By introducing restricted orifice in a pipe, it increases the pressure drop in pipe, hence reduces flow through pipe. As you can see here, a downstream of section 1. Streamlines are converging towards the orifice plates, which indicates that velocities are increasing due to reduction in area. Fluid stream continuously accelerates beyond the orifice plate, until a point where, area of fluid stream reduces to a minimum value. This minimum area at section 2 is known as vena contractor. If we draw a graph between pressure and pipe length, you can see that, at vena contractor, pressure reduces to minimum value and hence velocity reaches maximum value. A downstream of vena contractor, fluid velocity reduces and fill the pipe again. Due to reduction in fluid velocities, the pressure increases and tends to recover to its original level. The pressure at section 3 is always less than pressure at section 1. The pressure difference between sections 1 and 3 is non-recoverable, and known as permanent pressure loss. The pressure difference between section 2 at vena contractor and section 3 is known as pressure recovery. Pressure drop across orifice is mainly affected by, Reynolds number and beta ratio which is denoted by symbol beta, and it is the ratio of orifice diameter to the pipe diameter. This equation can be used to calculate pressure drop in thick edge orifice. Thick edge means the ratio of orifice plate to the hydraulic diameter of orifice opening shall be greater than 0.015. For sharp edge this ratio lies between 0 to 0.015. This equation is applicable for Reynolds number greater than 10 to the power 5. Where symbol beta is the ratio of orifice diameter to the pipe diameter. K is coefficient of fluid resistance. T is the thickness of orifice plate. F is the pipe friction factor. You can click on I bottom, where I have shown step-by-step -step procedure to calculate friction factor for pipe. You can also get a link into the description. DH is the hydraulic diameter of the orifice opening. If orifice opening is circular then hydraulic diameter is the same as the orifice opening diameter. For other than circular shape you can calculate hydraulic diameter using this equation where, A, is the cross-sectional area of orifice opening and P is perimeter. Symbol tau is the coefficient, representing the effect of the orifice plate thickness and inlet head shape. It can be calculated using this equation. In this equation, symbol L is the ratio of orifice plate thickness to the hydraulic diameter. And symbol phi is velocity coefficient. Velocity coefficient phi can be calculated using this equation. Here, symbol L is the ratio of plate thickness to hydraulic diameter of orifice opening. After putting all the values in this equation, we can calculate coefficient of fluid resistance K. The pressure drop across orifice can be calculated by using this equation, by putting the value of K. Here V is the fluid velocity just before the orifice plate and rho is the density of fluid. After plugging these values, you can calculate pressure drop in pascals. Once the pressure drop value is calculated, the discharge coefficient can be calculated using this equation. If you want to calculate pressure drop in sharp edge orifice plate, use this equation. Please like, share and subscribe this video and don't forget to press bell icon, so that you don't miss any update. Thank you.